Morning everyone, I am Idis Din Chong from Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. So my report for today is all about risk of Down syndrome. So let's get to know what are the risks of Down syndrome. Okay, so bago pang lahat, basahin muna natin yung chart na sumusunod. Okay po, so sa unang column, mababasa po natin yung maternal age. Sa second column, Down syndrome detected at 9 to 11 weeks by the CVS. In the third column, Down syndrome detected at 16 weeks by amniocentesis. And then the last column, frequent of Down syndrome among the birds. So, sa maternal age na 20 years old to 24, hindi pa po siya madedetect ng mga CVS at ng amniocentesis. At um, may possibility na 1 out of 1,400 ang um, frequent ng Down syndrome. Sa age na 25 to 29, ganun din po, hindi pa po siya madedetect at merong 1 out of 1,000 na frequent of Down syndrome among birds. And until the age of 30, hindi pa rin po siya madedetect. But uh, there is a 1 out of 900 possibility of frequent Down syndrome among the birds. So sa maternal age na 35 years old, Down syndrome detected at 9 to 11 weeks by the CVS, meron pong 1 of 250. At Down syndrome detected at 16 weeks by amniocentesis, meron din pong 1 out of 250. So, ang frequent of Down syndrome among birds sa age na 35 ay 1, 000, 1 out of 385. Sa age naman po na 40, uh, meron naman pong Down syndrome detected at 9 to 11 weeks by the CVS, meron pong 1 out of 80. At Down syndrome detected at 16 weeks by amniocentesis, meron pong 1 out of 70. At ang frequent of Down syndrome among birds ay 1 out of 100. Sa age naman po na 45, Down syndrome detected at 9 to 11 weeks by the CVS, meron pong 1 out of 25. And then Down syndrome detected at 16 weeks by amniocentesis, there is 1 out of 25 too. Frequent of syndrome among birds sa edad na ito, meron pong 1 out of 40. And then, over the age of 45 sa maternal age, Down syndrome detected at 9 to 11 weeks by the CVS, meron pong 1 out of 20. And Down syndrome detected at 16 weeks by amniocentesis, there is 1 out of 15. At frequent of Down syndrome among birds ay 1 out of 25. Okay, so base po dito, ibig sabihin lamang na nakakapikto po ang maternal age sa pagkakaroon ng Down syndrome sa kanilang mga anak. So, makapansin natin dito sa over the fort, over 45 years old, meron siyang 1 out of 20 and then 1 out of 15 at ang uh, frequent of Down syndrome among, among birds ay 1 out of 25. So, ibig sabihin sa 25 na over the 15 na nabuntis o mga anak, mayroong isang o isa sa kanila uh, kanilang mga anak ang magkakaroon ng Down Syndrome Okay, so let's move on Turner Syndrome it is a chromosome abnormality found in females in which secondary sex characteristics are developed only with the administration of female hormones Any abnormality in the internal reproductive organs causes permanent sterility Turner syndrome is caused by partial or complete loss of monosomy of the second sex chromosome. Chromosomes are found in the nucleus of all body cells. They carry the genetic characteristics of each individual and they come in pairs. We receive one company from each parent. Chromosomes are numbered from 1 through 22. The 23rd pair normally consists of 1X and 1Y chromosomes for the males and 2X chromosomes for females. Thus, females with a normal chromosomes make up Karyotype have 46 chromosomes including 2 X chromosomes, 46 XX karyotype. Each chromosome has short arm designated P and a long arm designated Q. Chromosomes are further subdivided into many bands that are numbered. So here are some examples. Limb, pedema, sausage-like fingers and toes, short stature, dental symptoms, ovarian failure, web neck, cutis, laxa, and shield chest. So, these are the common characteristics na makikita natin sa mga taong merong Turner Syndrome, especially po sa mga kababaihan. Okay, so let's move on to the second syndrome, Klinefelter's Syndrome. It is from chromosomes 
abnormality characterized by feminine plural characteristics like breast development and round broad hip figure. When a male inherits an extra X chromosome, it resulted in the XXY pattern, making him sterilized. Similar to a triple X female, an individual with this type of syndrome is sometimes tally, retarded, and has verbal language deficits and unreading problems. A male who, who inherits an extra Y chromosome, the XYY once believed to be accompanied by excessive aggressiveness, is very likely to solve some cognitive impairment. The XXY men genes ally age taller than normal men, but they have not been shown to be any more aggressive or violent than that, or than the others. Some people carry an X chromosome that, that appears to be pinched or narrowed in some area, camping it to be quiet, weak, or fragile. This fragile X syndrome is more frequent in males than females, are counting for about 5% of retarded males than IQ scores ranging between 30 and 55. However, not at all males with the fragile X syndrome are retarded. Moreover, people with fragile X syndrome often have physical abnormalities in psychological and social problems. More common physical abnormalities are cleft palate, seizures, abnormal EEG, and eye disorders. Psychological and social problems include anxiety, hyperactivity, attention deficiency, and normal communication patients. Males may have deficit in social interaction and males may be more likely to suffer from depression. The severity of the manifested symptoms of a person with a fragile X syndrome arising from hereditary disorders is related to the degree to which the person has supported sportive environment. Okay, so... Kung sa Turner Syndrome, mas madalas sa babae, dito naman po sa Klinefelter Syndrome, mas madalas po itong nangyayari sa mga lalaki. So let's talk about Pervasive Development Disorders. It is a collection of disorders characterized by gross deficits in many areas of cognitive, emotional, and social development. This results from severe and pervasive impairment of social interaction and communication skills, such disorders are often referred to as psychosis, broadly disturbances in which the person functioning is so maladaptive that he or she said to be out of touch with reality. Behaviors are unusual and incapacitating than other forms of psychosis. Pervasive development disorders have often been confused with Schizophrenia, a serious disorder characterized by hallucinations, delusions, and other kinds of thought disorders not found in the pervasive development disorders. These two disorders differ in ages of one while pervasive development disorders become evident in the first few years of life. Schizophrenia most commonly manifests in late adolescence or early adulthood. Schizophrenia is not found with any great frequency in children. Autistic Disorder is a pervasive development disorder otherwise known as early infantile artist or childhood autism the first to have identified this disorder is psychiatrist leo who noted it many puzzling and disturbing characteristics autistic diet is characterized by the inability children to communicate and interact socially these autistic children have specific language deficiencies demonstrate a need of or for sameness in environment and engage in repetitive behaviors. These features include their extreme autistic aloneness. An autistic is a loner. He expresses lack of interest in other people. Second, language abnormalities. Rather than engage in conversation, the autistic tends to repeat the words rather than reply, answer, or engage in conversation. Repetitive behaviors. An autistic extends to concentration on something and preserves the same of the environment. Public awareness about autism has improved. There are more films and books about autism aside from the introduction of the use of a broader diagnostic criteria, thus increasing the number of children being labeled autistic. autistic. Usually, autism commonly appears in boys than girls. The ratio is 3 to 5 boys to 1 girl. Asperger's Syndrome. It is, was first identified by an Australian physician Hans Asperger in the year 1944 calling a, a developmental disorder which 
has many symptoms similar to that of autism. However, it is considered a mild form of autism. Since people with this syndrome manifest a higher mental functioning DSM-4 or IV diagnostic and statistical manual of <clears throat> mental disorders classifies as Asperger's as a separate disorder, although a controversy has exist existed as to whether it is a distinct syndrome or form of autism. Although Asperger's syndrome and autism have many similarities, there are important differ can be can be. Both are classified as pervasive development disorder, which impairments exist in social interaction, communication, and other range of activities and interests. The differences lie in the degree of impairment. For example, an autistic may have delayed speech, but an individual with Asperger's does not suffer from it. Although he may have difficulty with understanding the abstract form of spoken language, such as humor or irony. Cognitive ability is another distinction between the two disorders. Children with Asperger's do not suffer from cognitive delay. In the case of autistics, some are likely to have mental retardation. Person with Asperger's usually has an average to above average intelligence. Other characteristics of Asperger's which are not present in autistics are the need for high stimulation, overdeveloped use of imagination, have fewer language deficits, are more social and willful in their behavior. These differences from autistic children are not noticeable at the early elementary years, the reason why they go undiagnosed. Children with autism seem to have a world of their own. They prefer inanimate objects to human interaction, avoid looking to others in the eye, and fail to regulate social interaction. Very often, they are not even aware of themselves. Echolat is a form of autism where the artistic repents what is said by another rather than respond to a question. It is usually a word-for-word -word repetition if you are to ask an echolalic, where do you live? He will answer by saying, where do you live? Moreover, they supply from language problem called pronoun reverence. Autistic refers to themselves by you and the others as L. Even after acquiring speech till it is Norm for effective social communication, they do not respond to verbal comments. Professional working with this disorder add that compared to people with autism, those with Asperger's syndrome have a need for high stimulation, have an overdeveloped use of imagination, to be more social, have fewer language visits, and eat more willful in their behavior. As a result of these differences, young children with Asperger's syndrome often undiagnosed through their early elementary years because their strengths mask their deficits. Asperger's syndrome was first recognized in the year 1980 and sometimes we was confused with the autism, though both share same manifestation in terms of social and affective deficits. Children with Asperger's syndrome are able to progress in school at the rate farther than those suffer from autism. Autistic children seem to live in a different world, animal of the immediate surroundings, or they are not interested in other people, thus look, lack of social interaction. They may not be able or aware of themselves. Many autistic children learn to master only few tasks of life. They need constant help with feeding, cleaning, dressing, and even toileting. The impression autistic children give is the presence of sensory deficits, though, in reality, their senses function adequately. The obsessive self-stimulating behavior of noted among autistic children like switching lights on or of throwing objects and spinning of objects. Okay, so that's all for today about my report on the risk of Down syndrome or the risk of having a Down syndrome. So, sana po may natutunan tayo at uh, mabaho natin to sa ating pang-araw-araw. <clears throat> at yan lamang po. Maraming salamat at once again, God bless us all.